Yeah, what's up, motherfuckers? How you doing out there? <laughs> you know how we do it right here. It is Monday, 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 and this is B-Side, baby. Every Monday, my name's Silly Rabbit. My name's Wacko. Every Monday, make sure you guys tune in, tell a friend. Shouts out to uh, Mr. Dimi, though, every week, yo, man. Yo. I've been tuning in. Thank you, homeboy. We also got Alizé up in there. What Marty. flavor are you today? Marty, how you doing? How you doing? How's it going? Man, thank you guys for holding us down. Just tell your friends about us, man. That's how we do it. That's right, that's right. I even think we got... McLovin up in here, man. McLovin is related to the guy right behind oh, here. Okay. We got these two guys. If you guys can uh, kind of notice right here in the screen, we got our boys right here. 814 Bartending. Bartending. And you yeah. know what that means. Rabbit's going to get wasted. That, that, that means we're uh, calling a taxi tonight. Yeah. We're calling a taxi tonight, doggies. Yeah. Hey, like, we, like we do every week right here. Monday, bsideshow.net. It's right a cool here. show, man. Sponsored by 86 Clothing, which yes. we'll have him coming up real soon. Rocky, we got Rocky over here, man. This We're going to have him talk about his, you know, his new stuff coming in and all for that. For show, for show. Man, it was a pretty cool weekend. Well, so much for me. I had to do some kind of little personal things. How was your weekend, bro? Uh, it was pretty good, man. We went and rocked the show yesterday. Uh, Frost Barbecue with the homies, man. Josh and Zion were in the building. We were there all day, too, man, chopping it up. They were, they were uh, making the B-side proud for reals, man. That's nice. That's nice. Not too bad I missed that, man. There was a lot of stuff going on. We had everybody all over the place this whole weekend. Who, who, where'd you go? Shh, me? Yeah, you, you can't talk about it or I, what? I was too busy uh, I was too busy out there, man, if I can uh, say hello to doctors and nurses. Uh-oh. <laughs> we'll talk about yeah. that on another episode, anyways, I think. <laughs> it was cool, man, but the whole crew was out, man, like... For even like people in the, the zoo crew, they were out doing shows. B side people were out doing shows. It just shows, man, we're on the move. We're doing some massive stuff out here, man. So tune in right here every Monday. You know how we do this, baby. And our other guest for tonight, as you know, 814 Bartending. Yep. Uh, we got Echo coming through right now. And we got uh, the lovely Crystalina in the building. Ooh, She's Crystalina. Waiting. Yeah. <laughs> well, Wacko's going to sing to her today. We are going to, I am going to go ahead and. Uh, Sing passionately. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna sing. He's gonna be Wacko Kelly tonight. He's gonna sing yeah. like R. Kelly. What are you trying to say, though, bro? <laughs> I know. Yeah, Ed's over there showing. Like, I'm not gonna see pee on her. The first thing like you that. guys think about. I was talking about the music, man. That just shows the Bunch mentality of, 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 of Rabbit, man. What he thinks about all this. You guys time. are perverts, man. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to everybody in the chat room once again. Uh, Oh, yeah. we got one difficulty, but we want to have no. uh, DJ hey, man, Zion. You know what's cool? I, let's do this right here, bro. You're always with this piece of crap Bud Light, man. You, a one for a bartending, man. Do you mind getting us two wonderful gentlemen a drink? They got right here. They got their own little uh, setup here, which is really cool. And they got a little menu. Oh, they got man. White Cosmos and they got Frankie Crystals. What man. do I want? I don't it, want that. Yeah, let me you see. don't want me, that. This let me guy. See, let me see. I don't, no, that one. That one. Flash, flash. This is what's really cool. Oh, what happened there? Oh, yeah, this is yeah, really, yeah. really cool, man. We're going to be drinking all night long. I this is the decide. first time you can really see that. I don't really drink as much either, so this is uh, kind of awesome. Probably be all slurring and everything. Yeah, we're going to give the taxi business some money today. Yes, sir. We're going we're to be talking to Crystal like, so how did this do? Let's see. <laughs> She's going to go, that's funny. You didn't have a lisp when I first got here. Yeah, I know, huh? <laughs> Check this out. Are you, you ready, Zion? Zion? So it looks like he's good and ready to go right there, man. We're going to get our drinks right here. Zion's going to go ahead and take it away, starting off the beginning of this mix. You know how we do it, man. Side Show, homies. Thank you for tuning in. You know what, Zion. Take it away. You ready, Drizak? Just say hello. Yeah. Say hello. Here we go. See, we're just vibing right here. the 86 day. Who's got the feedback on their mic? Turn it down. Turn it down. I said, who's got the feedback on the mic? Turn it down. Turn it down. Uh, here we go. Uh, turn this one down, Drag. It's the treble. Whoa. Uh, red, red mic. Red Whoa. mic. Red mic. Yeah, yeah, there we go. All right, y'all. What's going on? Make some noise for our boy right here, Zion. <laughs> Holding it down right here. As you can see, everybody, we got drinks up in our hand because we got our boys right here from 814. Bartending, holding it down for us, you know what I'm saying? We'll be chopping up with them in a little bit. 
letting us know more or less, you know, how they got started and all that cool stuff, you know? Yeah, we got some questions for them. Hey, turn that one up just a little, drag red mic. I'm sorry, guys. Here we go. But who we got right now? Well, we got Michael. right here. We got right here, right here, uh, a little partner in crime as well, too, man. We got a boy right here, Rocky, representing 86 Clothing. We haven't had this guy here, you know, come and talk about what's going on and everything like that, so why not? Hey, how you doing? Doing pretty good, Wacko. So, Rabbit. Hey. Hey. Haven't seen you in a long time since lunch today, dog. Yeah, I've just been shuffling, you know, <laughs> trying to get it in. <laughs> shuffling. <laughs> You've just been practicing your shuffle, dog? Yeah, I'm trying to get a break for EDC. Yeah, yeah, he's got a front... He's got a front window here at the store, and uh, he's going to be doing the shuffle all tomorrow during the day. Yeah, if you want to come and battle me in shuffling, I got a stage in front, and we can get it on. Let's do this thing. That's right. This guy. <laughs> Yo, hey man, real quick, dude, like, 86 now, I mean, it's almost like going a year strong, like, you know, and there's been a lot of changes as far as what's been, what's happened here, like, massive changes you know what i mean so this is pretty cool and stuff like that but real quick elaborate about 86 like how it came about um yeah, i think yeah. oh it's because we're all close together that's why it's because we're all cuddled we're a team right here yeah. <laughs> it's we're like three really. siamese you know what twins happened? it was real like spontaneous me and priscilla um, were having lunch one day and um i don't know we're having lunch pretty much and i think she just got laid off and i got laid off my job and have money put away a little bit she probably have more but you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's why she gets the name p boss yeah hey. <laughs> but uh we were all hey we should get our own business together you know and i'm like we should so we can, we just passed by after lunch and we got like a number here fast and the owner the landlord called us back the next day hey come down and check it out we're all right let's go check it out so we went here and the next day we're signing lease papers and we're like, okay, what are we, what are we gonna sell? <laughs> <laughs> These ones just bought a building. They're all like, yo. So what are we selling? <laughs> Rock, Rocky, Rocky's all. If all those fails, I'll sell myself. Rocky's ready, <laughs> dog. <laughs> Which is dope. But I mean, when you guys got started and stuff like that, you guys had some cool trends in here as far as you know, certain apparel or anything like that. But you know, as time went on, you started bleeding uh, things out and stuff. What, you know. What happened when we were first water, Like. We tried, I thought we were give our credit card and hey, I want this size, this size, and this size. And it's so like political and, and, and this shit. Like, can I say shit? You can cuss, it's alright. Alright. So, um, they, they, they were saying like you had to order like six months ago, you know? I was like, well, I didn't, wasn't open six months ago. So, like, it was hard to get gear in here. It was like pretty crazy. But now, like, right now we're doing orders right now for next winter. Like we're, we gotta order hey, that far ahead of time. Y- you know what? Before we talk about the new lines and stuff, I wanted to ask, like, what do you think? Um, your own critique of yourself. What do you What do you think of the progress the store has made so far, dog? You see, I think it's been it's, pretty um, good, dog. It's been as far as the vibe going. Um, it's going really well. We have a good buzz, and that's without even like flyers or promoting or anything like that. Like, and that has a lot to do with you guys. Wacko promotes. I mean, you guys be side and do together. So, um, I'm thankful for that. Like, we got a strong team and. The house out a lot, like a lot, man. Yeah, and now we got that new uh, group text thing. There's no stopping us. You know now. what? That, that, <laughs> so, sometimes I'm thinking like you guys should text each other, like personally, because like, like why can we do some random, like six in the five in the morning? I'm going to bed. Good night, guys. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, yeah, we're, that works hard, man. Hey, lower my mic down a little bit. Lower green is down, it yours? please. Is it yours? Okay, we'll figure it out, guys. Yeah. But um, there you go. So it's a lot better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But like, um, we're, we're gonna launch our um our website hopefully this week. Um, I'm waiting for our web designer to just finish it up real fast. AKA Wacko. Oh, that guy. Oh yeah. Huh? Oh shit. <laughs> now we got that live. So, so once that goes on, we're gonna do like a grand opening website, and uh, hopefully that takes off. Cause right now we saw more 86 things than uh. Than most of the other yeah. And you know what's another thing? It's, it's another cool thing about this spot here, is that. A lot of shops are within the area, not to mention or drop any names because we're not giving any promo. But you, you're you doing something a little bit different. we got these in-stores going on, bringing in a lot of different artists, a lot of different apparels, and then working with the different kind of companies and stuff like that, giving them an opportunity to say, hey, look, showcase your stuff, do your thing. And then it's great for business, too. And no but, one's doing yeah, that, well, man. That's what we do. Like, a lot of stores, like, I mean, we're a new store, so I understand, like, it was hard for us to get brand in here. So I can imagine brands are new brands and stores don't want them. So I mean, I mean if you're an ugly brand, I mean I'll be nice to say no, you know. But like, but usually like he'll 
don't say it nicely. Well, though. I'll do like consignment, and I'll go like, well, we'll give you like three months. Like, we'll do consignment, and if you sell really good within that three months, like, I'll be happy to like write, write you a check for your, you know, for your, for your whatever you have, because it's gonna sell. But if it doesn't sell, then um, you know, good luck with your business and here's your back. You know, so that's hey. the way the business goes, man. You know what though? This just shows right here though. Um, there's real hustlers out here and all around trying to do stuff, man. I, I'm sometimes proud of the they, homie. I've known him for a minute, man. I like this store. Sometimes people overdo it because all of a sudden you have a store and everybody has their own t-shirts now. I'm like, what? Like, yeah. Everyone's, everyone's it's brand. It's just, <laughs> it's just like in the, the DJ thing, like how what we deal with. Everyone's a DJ. Then everyone's in it like an MC. They want to laugh. Then everyone's like, you know what I'm saying? Much. Everybody's a bartender. Oh, no. <laughs> but, but, like, but not like you guys. But not like you guys. But official so. bartender, <laughs> Official. Hey, yeah. hey, hey, and, and check it out. Coming soon, too. We're going to have those uh, those B-side promo shirts, and we'll have a couple here at the shop, too, man. Uh, I just want to promote oh, yeah. the, um, our next event we're going to have. I, I think um, we'll have to know It's June 18th. Yeah. And it, uh, it, which should be really cool, man. It's it's going to be pretty dope. I mean, I think our, our in-store are getting too crazy. Like, they're famous. Like, everybody they're all, getting very event? crazy. What's your next event? Yeah. Like, it's a massive. Like, <laughs> uh, you know what? <laughs> a massive. I'm going to sell tickets. Don't like, like, hey, there was people on the roof trying to skydive yeah, in and shit. Know, this you know? cool. Everybody's like, y'all shoveling in here. This coming to my floor. This was it. If this was all things in Somniac hey, or something like that. You know what though? Uh, speaking of that, we're gonna show a little footage of that. We'll probably have it on next week though. We didn't get it loaded in time for today, but next week we're gonna show some footage from the last in store here. But hey, before we head out right here, um, uh, real quick, Rocks, uh, um, when they come in here, what can they expect? What kind of stuff that you got uh, right now? I mean, we got we got our major um, our major brands, heavy hitters. We have um, Tits, Black Scale, Young and Reckless. Uh, I mean, what else do we have? Right here. Rebel A, Rebel you know, Wild yeah, One, Vegas, yeah. and we got a lot of underground stuff that um actually sells pretty good because a lot of people like to wear stuff that nobody has. Like they're like, where'd you get that shirt at? You know, and so that's pretty good, man. Um, I guess oh, just shout out to Priceless Hustle Company, man. Yeah, and shout out to um Tattoo Role Models, Tyrone. You know, Tyrone Cotton. He's trying to do that thing um where I think high tones are all in it. Like a lot of people are all tatted up pretty much, and he's trying to make examples if you're tatted up. You know, no stereotyping, like. Got your role models pretty much where like you're all tatted up while you're doing something positive with your shit. Like instead of you know trying to get that stereotype shit out of the way. Yeah, so, yeah, I got that on my I got the homie on my Facebook, yeah, so man. He's a real cool dude. Shout out role model, they're pretty dope, man. What up, homie? There you go. So oh, yeah. check it out, man. Like you gotta come over here to 86. You know, say what's up to Rox and Priscilla, man. They're always holding it down, especially that that they got the Tech in Five over here. So they're always looking for some challengers. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, right now, um, pursue the champion. She beat me last, so. Dude, yeah, I, I keep, I keep bringing this up though, but like it took Zion 17 times just to yeah, beat her. No you shit. know what I mean? Whoa. <laughs> I knew he was gonna give the. <laughs> hey, hey, but check it out. Come over here to 130 Shoppers Lane, buy some gear, and if you beat either Rocky or Priscilla on second five, they might give you like a 2% discount or something like that. Nah, we'll probably 2%. be in a bad mood if you beat me. <laughs> Maybe let a beat, uh, if you let us win, you know you get a discount. Okay, you gotta oh, let yeah. them win. Well, so check it out, man. We're gonna jump to this video right here. Uh, I think we're gonna do the cons versus Cage. You're gonna be there, right? I got tickets. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's why I'm saying this shit. There. Check it out, yo. You can come here to 86 Clothing, man, this whole week because Rocky got some tickets to slang out for you. you got Cage versus If you con. haven't got that, man. May 21st. I don't know who you guys are rooting for, but I'm kind of going for the cons for just a little, you know what I mean? Yeah, we're kind of biased over well, here. Yeah, I guess. Well, there's, but, um, there's a catch to that. If you go on the website, like, yeah. the tickets are like, I think, 35 pre sale or whatever. But that's for general admission, pretty much parking lot and shit. But if you want to go inside, I think it's a $100 minimum. So don't get fooled. You know what I mean? There you go, see? There you go. We get knowledge over here too, and we got feedback. Uh, turn That's that speaker okay. back around. <laughs> we're getting more feedback with that speaker hitting this way. Yeah, there, there we, we go. go. There we go. We good. We good. <laughs> so, hey. anyways, so check out this video, this promo video right here. And then we're gonna come back with the homie Echo. Echo, right baby. B side, you know. Yeah. Yo, yo, Afro, all flows reach out. AFRO, we was up here in B side show. This what we's doing is kicking it. I was just here for the 300th episode. Did the thing, you know, just kicking with some good folk. You know what I mean? So just tune in every single Monday. It's about right. Bop, fro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we are back, everybody. How you doing, man? Shout out. 
Cage versus Cons. I'm going to go check that out. I, I just uh, chopped it up with the homies from Sick Family Tree uh, yesterday. They're going to be there, too, that day. So shout out to them. Man. Yeah, yeah. It's a crazy lineup. Plus the tattoo convention going on type thing. And yeah, yeah, it's pretty man. insane. It's pretty insane. It's going to be wild. Go Cons. Go Cons. Tattoos are dope. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> what do yeah. we got right here, man? What's up, bro? Go ahead and t- let everybody know who you are, man. Uh, I'm Echo. Uh, moved here from New York City. Uh, a little while ago, I've been doing my hip hop thing since I moved here. Started meeting a bunch of cats around the way. Uh, LA, a lot of different parties, a lot of different events, or whatever. And it's just been a lot of love in Los Angeles. And I'm hoping they embrace Echo, keep embracing Echo, and we get it popping globally. Sweet, That's man. What's up, man. Well, thank you guys, man. I appreciate yeah. you for having me on. No man. problem. We we like it. Like we like the fact that we've got people, you know, like Zeps. Like we've had people from Brooklyn and and other uh, other parts, dog, coming here. Where, where was uh, JB from? Uh, oh, JB was from Oklahoma. Oklahoma, dog. We got people coming when they're around or whatever. They come through. How the many B-side. Dominicans yeah. from Washington Heights have you had on the show? Uh, oh, you might be the you first. You are the first. <laughs> <laughs> I think we I think we had one. Yeah. That's dope. That's dope. <laughs> so so uh, <laughs> No, it's cool. So Echo man, Echo. Why yeah. Echo? Why Echo? Uh, Echo because I like the definition, the uh, repetition of sound. That's the name of my CD actually that I dropped a month ago. You can cop that everywhere. Um yeah, but Echo just like wanted something simple, something that represented me. I used to freelance model for Echo a little bit, so I had to tap. Uh, there it is. So it just kind of made sense. I used to go by the name Smoke. And I do puff the Toki Toke a little bit, oh, but yeah. I didn't just want to be known for that. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't know nothing about that, man. Yeah, you know, well, nah. yeah he wouldn't know <laughs> shit about that. Yeah, you know how we do it. Yeah. <laughs> Happy 420, everybody. Exactly. It's always 420. Yeah, yeah. Even when it's not 420. That's right. Hey, uh, check it out. The the album you were talking about. Yeah, uh, get yeah. into that a little bit, dog, since you know you were talking about that. Yeah, um, I was doing shows for about a six months, almost eight months in LA. Didn't really have anything put together like a project and I was just meeting so many homies and I just wanted to put a, a little project together that kind of put my blend of East Coast lyrics and flow to like West Coast type beats so I met up with a bunch of the cats like I don't know uh, Curtis King I think yeah, he was on the show the yeah, homie yeah. Curtis Shouts King shout out to Curtis King Curtis man. King did some production on my joint uh, a couple of homies out I don't know Infamous J Tracks a lot of different cats that work in and around LA the homie Danny TBD Productions um, and just wanted to put some something simple 10 tracks 2 tracks Kind of each different flow, like a hardcore joint, New York joint, two joints for the chicks. Just mix it up for the people. Yeah, that, that's a go. good mix right there. Shout yeah. out to Curtis King, too, man. He be yeah. loving them cougars, man. Yeah. <laughs> Pumas, Cubs, and Cougars. Yeah. I, know, I know Ed's a cougar, man. So. Uh, the homie yeah. Fizz Ed likes the cougars, too. On the prowl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got the horn for that one, man. <laughs> Hey, yeah. big shout out to A14 bartending, keeping yes, us sir. from keeping yeah. us from keeping we got us going. Are popping. They're hey, they're keeping are smiles popping. on our faces and shit. You I, know know, I haven't smiled so much since. Wow, I don't know. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, Ed just got him. Fizz <laughs> Ed, you need to lift that mic up, G. Yeah, there's a mic right there. Don't be shy. He's just jealous, man. Don't worry about it. Oh, <laughs> hey, so, hey, so, um. Real quick, like, let me ask you. I, I'm starting to sound like you, fool. Yeah, man. We oh, rub off on shit. each other. Ugh. Anyways, hey, so the difference between NY and Cali, obviously, there's a big difference, though, right? Right, right. Uh, language, you know, weather, of course. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, people ask me all the time if I miss it. Of course, I miss home, but LA's dope, man. The weather, obviously. As soon as I landed at LAX the first time, I was like, wow, I could do this. I'm not mad at this. Yeah. I, c- I could deal with this. I can, uh, yeah. he's all taking off his fucking jackets took the and all that off, shit. Took the Tim's <laughs> off. Took the 40 belows off. It I was, was like, just wow. going to yeah. say he took the extra pairs of socks off. Yeah, you know God, I'm telling you, yeah dude. but I mean, the speed is different. You know, it's a lot more laid back here. We got a lot of hustle in uh, New York. Same as here as far as the hustle, but the way you do it is different. It's a lot more laid back. It's a lot more easy going. Not that much to stress about. New York, it's hardcore. It's grimes. It's fast pace it's a blur it's a blur but i love both sides it's like two sides of a coin 
There you go. So it's dope. And, you, and U.S. is the two sides of the coin. When you think of the United States, you got L.A. on one end and you got N.Y. on the other end, man. And I'm both. Hey, I want to yeah. I, I roll there soon, dog. I really do, man, and chop it up with, you know, I met good people that did come from over there to come over here. I met a lot of cool cats, dog, so I want to roll yeah. over there, Who, man. One question I ask is, like, um, a lot of maybe the like the small spots, the whole wall spots that you like, a lot of the hip-hop underground type thing, whatever you want to say. Yeah. How, how are they different as far as, like, uh, the spots out here that you've got to perform at? I mean, the spot, one simple thing is that the spots out here just seem to be more, like, I guess the same as the way to, the terrain is, like, real vast and big. The spots are real vast and big. Like, the last show I did in New York, it was, like, in a recording studio almost. It was, like, 150 <laughs> people in a room the size of the bathroom. <laughs> and it was shit, just, like, dude. the audience was, like, right here. Like, if this is the mic, the audience is, like, right there in my face. It was rapping to, like, people. I was touching them on the shoulders. And I hear the stuff. You know, it's a lot bigger out here. Like, the venues is bigger. I've been on raid stages. It's... It's love in different ways, but both spots give me different edges, so it's a beautiful it's a, thing. It's a good experience, it's though, you know? Experience. But, but yeah, yeah like, like we always talk about, you know, as an artist, and it don't matter if there's four people or 400, homie, you gotta matter. give it to them, dog. The you energy know? gotta go. Yeah. Like you, I've rapped for the bartender before. Yeah. Me, the bartender, and the sound dude. Yeah. And I hope they had the best time uh -huh. of their fucking lives. They're all like, you know, we had a show today, and it was really awesome. Oh, wow, was there a lot of people? No, not really. It just felt very personal for me. Yeah, you know? it was intimate. It was an intimate It was location. like he was talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. And you really were. He was yeah, like, I was. He, he was, was like, really rapping, give me another beer, Barry yeah. Edward. <laughs> <laughs> it was ridiculous, but I mean, it's all love. I mean, you take the good with the bad, you take the light with the heavy. So, I love both coasts. I love the people here. I love the people there. And again, opportunities just abundant in LA for some reason. I just feel like uh, it's everywhere for me. We, we, we had our boy Zeps on here, and I had asked him about like the lingo and stuff. And I asked him like, what, what what's it, what? What lingo I hear that people say a lot that you're like, damn, that's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. Like, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm Dominican, so the Spanish is already off the hook. Anywhere I go, like Del Taco, you know. It doesn't matter, Jack in the crack, everybody's always like, I speak Spanish through the drive through they're like, ¿Qué te está hablando? Yo no te entiendo, tú hablas rápido. I'm like, yo, it's nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. I mean, even my Dominicans don't understand me sometimes. That's how quick we speak. Yeah. But I mean, the cats out here just have a whole different twang about it. Like, it's not even like... See, like, twang. You said twang right there. Yeah, it's like a different it's twang about it. Like, every other word is like, what's up, dog? And like, this droll, like... I love it. It's like listening to like a movie. Like, I'm watching Boys in the Hood. When yeah. I go to the Hey! Club. Hey! I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's one of Fizz Ed's favorite movies yeah, right see, there. Everybody sound like Ricky out here. And then I, I just did like a I, I did like a wedding, right? And it was all New Yorkers and stuff like and it was a trip, man, because everybody that walked into the like, cause they did in the backyard, everybody that walked in, they were like, Oh hey! And then instead of greeting, because we greet here with a, a handshake and a like yeah, pat like that, man, you guys are all boom, 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 yeah. boom, boom, yeah, all gotta, showing love like and shit, You want to knock man. the soul out of nigga, like just bam, yeah. bam. Oh, 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 damn I'm you, love you, son. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know you're happy to see somebody when you knock the fucking wind out of them. And yeah, shit. I'm telling <laughs> That's you, good man. Job. That's good job. <laughs> That's how I love you, Jeff. Yeah. 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 Hey, 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 yeah. Echo, man, you're a cool-ass dog, For man. Sure. I'm yeah, glad we sure. got to yeah. meet you. Thank but you. I wanted to ask you, like, <laughs> man, this dude, you're making me laugh, dog. Um, <laughs> what, what's your next project, like, you're working on right now? What After this right one you just put out, what you going to do next? I'm huh? just doing a bunch of collabs right now. Like, okay. I'm getting it in. Like, a lot of people from across the country and other countries, like, overseas, they've been buying the CD and they want to just collab with the kids. So I'm just trying to do a bunch of songs and hopefully compile them all together. And at the same time, grinding out this project. Like, it's literally about booking shows. I got a show on the 28th. Got another one June 1st in Lancaster. The 28th is downtown LA. Every other week, I'm trying to knock out at least seven shows a month. Just trying to yeah, get it in before the yeah, summer. Yeah, so I can yeah. really give LA some heat heat. Hell yeah. And you're, how, how long are you out here for, in LA, man? Are you are you like here for quite some time? I'm here for a minute. Yeah, I've been all here right, for a right, couple good. of years now. And I'm not going nowhere. I mean, as long as it stays 90 in the summer and 90 in the winter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no. I'm staying here for a minute. Walking to LA, homie, because <laughs> it ain't going anywhere. Nah, it's love. <laughs> Love, yeah, I appreciate yeah. it. Hey, thank you for coming through. But um, we're, sure. we're, uh, we're about to get in. We're going to play a video and then get into those two new joints, man. What do you got coming for us? Oh, I'm going to rock two joints. I got the, I'm got i going to rock the joint that the homie Curtis King produced 2020. Yeah. I'm a conspiracy theorist, so a lot of the stuff that I spit isn't just about what normal cats spit about. So you're going to get that with that. And I got another joint called Drop the Mixtape that my homie Infamous did. And that joint is banana. Hey man, yeah. but I, I, I seen on your Twitter, man. You talk about it every. You hit all subjects. Uh, on me, you know what I'm saying? I try to get it in. I try to give you some hood stuff, some like real fun stuff, and I try to give you some 
political history, political science, applied economics. Though. Hey, and you know what? Drag yeah, others. drag, drag you hear the bell? On that shit. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you heard the bell, the guys, wa everybody watching. But uh, the bell came from the back because the homie Drag, man, he's on that political shit right now. That's what hey, I'm talking about. Yeah, you bro. know what I'm saying? Hey, I get but, it in. I get it in. But check this out. What we were talking about that, your Twitter. Get, tell them all the information where they can yeah, get Yeah, you can you. catch me on the internet anywhere. Echo is the name. So that's Twitter. Echo is the name. Facebook. Echo is the name. ReverbNation.com. Echo is the name. Tumblr.com. Echo, Echo is the name. I don't want to be like real conceited, but if you just Google me, you'll find me. It Echo should. is the name. So I'm Echo. Be there. So Echo's the name then, right? Echo's the name. Okay. That's pretty Echo's much it. I don't yeah. know. That's yeah. pretty much it. Double name. checking on that right there. <laughs> That's how we do it, man. We're going to get in our, I think, track. You got that uh, D the Great featuring Casino. Shouts out yep. to the homies, man. We seen them yesterday at the show. Uh, we're going to show that video and then come back with Echo performing two joints for you guys. Yeah. Oh, B-side. B-side, baby, right here. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, Wacko's going to sing the hook. Yeah. Yo, this is cool, 187. You know, I'm chilling at. I'm in my town, West Covina, you know what I'm saying? I don't wanna put y'all up on everything, cause I always do that, cause that's how the black Superman, the black godfather do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm chilling at the B-side shop on the B-side show. What y'all know about that? Rest in peace to my man Cam G and Easy E, Tupac. I love y'all. Boom, you know how we do it. Ah! Yeah, 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 we're back all the way live on the B side. Check this out. I'm gonna go get another drink and then watch this performance by the homie Echo right here. Yeah. Two songs, check it out. Yeah, Give yeah. him love on the B side show. What up, what up? We're gonna go to 2020 real quick. Like, I see the future type shit. How the world gonna be in about a few years, maybe more than a few. It's 2020. Yeah, yeah. The homie Curtis King. I see 2020, I'm in my space car, yeah. I'm so ready, I see through two doors, Woo. glass chassis, I'm so flashy, where you wanna go, is what my whip asks me, yeah. it's so classy, it calls me sir, it's a new era baby on planet earth, since birth, we teaching babies about war, cause that's history now, we don't go there no more, no more oil, no more crime, and they don't use cash, but we using our minds, uh -huh. we got new time, fuck 20, for hours, yeah. my chakra spinning. I got superpowers. Okay. Nah, not really, but they never allowed us to use our whole brain. All they did was crowd us, bring down towers, drown black people. Now it's 2020, we all really eat. Nice. I, I wish I could buy my spaceship and fly. Yeah, I, I wish, wish I could buy my spaceship and fly. Waiting on my spaceship. Waiting on my spaceship. Travel to the end of the universe and beyond. I wish I could buy my spaceship and fly. I wish. I could buy my spaceship and fly. Waiting on my spaceship. Wait, 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 waiting on my spaceship. Yeah. Travel to the end. How we driving? Yo, I'm driving down the block in the car. Got magnets okay. under the whip, and the street just drags it. Tires are classics. Nobody got them. We don't use gas. That's not a problem. Yeah, yeah we off that. We solved that quick. Just had to get rid of a bunch of pricks Had to fix the old system that we had It took us a while to see that we've been had I'm so glad we run the planet ourselves We told every fucking government to go to hell You don't need insurance to cover your health You don't have to be sick if you don't have wealth It's 2020, we live in love okay. There's no more poverty, there's no more money It's a resource-based economy, buddy Live off the land not that nutty. I, I wish I could buy my spaceship and fly. Wish I could buy my spaceship and fly. Yeah, waiting on my hobby, hobby. Waiting on my hobby, hobby. Travel to the end of the universe and beyond. I wish I could buy my spaceship and fly. Wish I could buy my spaceship and fly. Waiting on my spaceship. Waiting on my spaceship. Travel to the end of the universe and beyond. Pull up to my crib in my hover car, kid. Jump out the whip and I'm smoking that shit. They legalized it a long time ago. You can grow anything you want. Now I'ma go upstairs. I float right to the top floor. I disconnect gravity from my outer core. Come on, dog. How you think they made a pyramid? It's 2020, ain't nobody being secretive. Life is lucrative if you break chains. I use maglev trains to get around, man. It's a new plan, they teach in real math. Nah, programming your ass when you go to class. They don't care if you pass all these tests. 
Everything you learn is to make you the best yeah. Only move forward now, we only progress yeah. It's 2020, live life, no stress That's 2020, that's what it looks like In 2020, I see 2020 But I'm wearing contacts Close your eyes, and then open them again Let's go to that joint. Drop the mother. Drop the mixtape. That shit sounded like a album. I heard it. Drop the mixtape. That shit sounded like a album. Drop. Drop the mixtape. That shit sounded like a album. I gotta drop, sit drop for this. Drop the mixtape. That shit sounded like a album. Drop, hey. drop the mixtape. That shit sounded like a album. Drop the drop the mixtape. That shit sounded like a album. Drop the mixtape. That shit sounded like a album. Yeah. Drop, drop the mixtape. That shit sounded like a album. It said. Drop the mixtape. Okay, okay, okay. I dropped the mixtape, they said sounded like an album. MCs, when I walk in the room, dial 911. You better run while you be calling. You a white chick in a horror movie, so you falling. I'm not balling, I'm coaching these rookies. I'm a monster, eating rappers like Oreo cookies. Break them in half, I split them right down the middle. Push me, I'm a killer, not Wayne, not little. I'm a tall nigga, towering all. Competition, repetition, the sound makes you call a mortician. Dishing, passing, assisting these haters. So rich, I wanna moonwalk in real moon craters. Flight to the cosmos, fuck ball. Barbados, I'm a star among stars, alien neighbors, so many flavors that your palate can't take it, I'm the best you ever heard, my word, face it, okay, drop the mixtape, that shit sounded like a album, okay. drop the mixtape, that shit sounded like a album, right. drop the mixtape, that shit sounded like a album, okay. drop the, drop the mixtape, that shit sounded like a album, yeah. drop the mixtape, that shit sounded like a album, it did, drop the mixtape, that shit sounded like a album, repetition is saying, drop the mixtape, that shit sounded like a album, yeah, yeah. I'm unfuckwittable, leave MCs critical Feel right at home or it's not hospitable It's so pitiful, the state of hip-hop needs martial law I'm a pig, I'm a cop, you a twig, I'm the rock Not Dwayne, I'm Wade, flash money in your face Let you know I stay paid, marmalade flows I jam while you gelling, Magellan For your shoes, you still small like Kevin No heart, like baby daddies disappearing I got three hearts it's like octopus, y'all don't hear me yeah. I'll say it clearly, nobody compares This word to Sinead, shaving off full of hair I'll diss the Pope, a new religion's right here Team Echo, motherfucker, I'll leave light ears I sweep your prayers under rugs, oh yeah I'm back on my grizzly, to glare like a bear Drop the mixtape, that shit sounded like an album Drop the mixtape, that shit sounded like an album Drop the mixtape, that shit sounded like an album Drop the mixtape, that shit sounded like an album Drop the mixtape, that shit sounded like a owl. Drop the drop the mixtape, that shit sounded like a owl. Yeah. Drop the mixtape, that shit sounded like a owl. Drop the drop the mixtape, that shit sounded like a owl. If the cops pull up. Play my shit a little louder My song slaps other songs with baby powder Hit the showers, this game's been over Drop the confetti, I'm the best show closer Everyone's lower than me, rap midget Range overflow and y'all are spitting civics I'ma fucking kill it, confess in due time Dominicano, on the map in due time, nigga Okay Drop the mixtape, that shit sounded like an album. Drop the mixtape, that shit sounded like an album. Drop the mixtape, that shit sounded like an album. Echo is the name. Echo is the name. Drop the mixtape, that shit sounded like an album. Drop the drop the mixtape, that shit sounded like an album. Drop the mixtape that yeah. shit sounded like an album. That's right. Give it up for the homeboy Echo, man. Thank you all for listening to me. I don't yeah. know you could have been anywhere tonight, but you're here. Yeah, but you're here on the B side. Thank the you B guys, side. man. We're going to get into this video, man. Let's show the, the what do we got? Ken, Kendrick Lamar. Let's play that Kendrick Lamar video, yeah, man. He Welcome gets it to in. Detox. Yeah. Any shout outs you want to make, dog, before we hey, get the homie B. Segment? Sean, Lynn Adriana Friedman, B. Taylor, Convinced. My whole crew, Dada, everybody out there that supports Team Echo, I see you in the chats. Keep hollering at me. One, b side, good luck. That's right, man. Thank you for coming through once again. Yeah. Uh, like we always do, man. We got live motherfuckers coming into the B-side, man. We're going to play this video right now, and then we're going to come back with the lovely Crystalina in the show. Yeah. B-side, homies.
what's up? This the general, east side up, LBC. Y'all know how I go down on the west coast. Yeah, on the B side show, motherfucker, gangsta shit. I don't know. I think just. Yeah, we are back. Live and direct. I want to say a quick shout out to Unauthorized yeah. Inc. Six Symphony. Holding it down, representing the OC over there too as well. Unauthorized Inc. Big Tiny. What's up, Big Dog? How you doing? We got to get you on the show, man. Yeah, man. Long Come time through, no dog. Come through, man. I I've, been you... I've been trying to hit you up, son. Yeah, man. <laughs> Now we got it live on blast on the B side. Come through, homie. Big Thank tight. you, sir. Thank That's you, sir. Cracking. Hey, what are you drinking, man? I don't I even... have this one's the what? What is this one, guys? This one's the white Cosmo. No, you got the white Cosmo. I got the white Cosmo. And then I got the. This is the '86 cocktail. Look oh at that wow! Shit, man. Gotta, yeah. Hey. And what are you drinking? What are you drinking? Crystal? I'm drinking vodka water. Oh, I right. thought I thought it was that drink. What's it called? The no, crystal. I was, I was drinking the crystalina drink. Crystalina, yeah. There you are. Look at that. Jeez. That, we, well, we we got crystalina in the building with yes, us on the B side. Yes, we do. Which we do. I'm kind of nervous. Yeah, yeah. I'm a little bit shy. Right? <laughs> I'm shy right now. You know. I know we're all. <laughs> Hi. Usually we host. We don't know what to do now. Oh, that's hey. right. You're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and just to let you know, we are changing of our guards here. We got our boy Fizz Ed now up on the deck. What up, yeah. Fizz? Yeah, Fizz looking slim. Looking slim. Look at this guy. And, ooh, your hair looking smooth. You got man. a mic right there, G. Yeah. Tell him what's up. I tell you, he, he, he knows. <laughs> hey, you know what? He speaks with his hands. Well Sh- said. Shout out to A14 Bartending once again for coming through. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. So check it out. We got our girl right here, Christina. We, uh, man, we got a lot to talk about real quick. But uh, uh, first of all, thank you for coming to the show. We do hey, appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited. Yeah, that's awesome. I was, she was, she, that's all, every time I was talking to her, she's all like, I'm so excited. Yeah, well, good. That's good. I hope people get excited. I hope the people watching get excited sometimes. I mean, that would we, be cool. We're, and we're talking about excitement with emotions, not uh, another type of excitement you fellas yeah, out yeah. there, right? So calm down. Don't get carried away. Yes, <laughs> yes. Keep your hands on the keyboard, people. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Check this out. She's all awkward. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, Kristalina, man. Tell, tell the people out there that don't know a little bit about yourself, you know, and what you're doing right now. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm a girl. Who happens to take pictures? I'm a photographer. Uh-huh. I like to take pictures of hot chicks. Um, yeah. I'm also a model. So uh, when I'm not behind the camera, I'm in front of the camera. I actually became, um, I was a model before I ever did photography. And um, yeah, I just, I have a lot of fun. That's awesome. <laughs> wait, wait, I want to ask a question because you brought up the two. I know they kind of coincide together, but did you, um, were you always interested in photography or when you did photo shoots, were you like thinking, man, I could take a better picture than this or, or what you happened? You know what? I got to be 100% honest. I had no idea I wanted to do photography. I never thought in my wildest dreams I was going to do photography. And um, like, because I was just happy doing modeling and I do red carpet hosting. I've, inter- I've interviewed celebrities on the red carpet. I hosted my own radio show for about a year. And so I kind of always thought, oh, I want to be in front of the camera. But then one day I just thought, you know what, F it. I'm just going to buy a camera and then just like see what I can do with it. And then I was like, well, I can't just buy a camera and not get lighting equipment. So I was like, oh, I'll just get lighting equipment. So I was like, well, why don't I just get lenses too? And I'll just get like all the stuff. And then I got like Photoshop and all this crap. And I was like, you know what, I'm just going to do it. And so I hit up all my Jeez. Playboy model friends and all like the girls that I know. And I was like, hey, do you guys want to shoot pictures with me? And they're like, yes. So... Yes. <laughs> Jeez, that she's, deserves the horn uh-huh. too. <laughs> she's gonna be taking business away from me, man. People are like, now we're shooting with a uh, Cristalina. Like, they oh, they right. probably uh, do a lot of girls though. Probably tell you they feel comfortable in front of the camera with yeah. you because you're another oh, yeah. female. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? Well, yeah, especially because I'm looking at the same types of things they're looking at. Like guys are just kind of looking at tits and ass. Uh, am I allowed to say that? Sorry. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she said tits and ass. Oh shit. <laughs> what kind of fucking shit is that? How dare you? <laughs> They're gonna regulate on us. <laughs> no, it's fine. Men are mostly looking at like TNA, where I'm looking at, I'm like, okay, well, does she, is this really her best angle? Does she really look sexy like that? I mean, is she really, like, would I post that of me? Do I like that her love handle looking like that? You know what I mean? Right, yeah, right, right. <laughs> does, that's true. Does her face really look flattering? I mean, because sometimes you see guys will post pictures, like, as long as the girl's body looks good and her face looks like whatever, they'll post it. And I'm like, why did you post that picture? You know what I mean? So I don't know. I'm really picky. I like I 
like to look good in my pictures, and I know if I'm gonna shoot pictures of a girl, I'm gonna make it all about her, and I specialize in sexy. Like, that's all I care about. She says I specialize in sexy. (laughs) And and, And that's not a bad thing. That's, that's very that's lovely. I don't concern. think it's a bad thing for any guy, that, really. That's very lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? I specialize in sexy. Yeah. Really? Uh, I can deal with that. I, I can handle that. Hey, that, that's no, what's up, though, man. How long have you been uh, shooting pictures besides uh, being behind, I mean, in front of the camera? I'm sorry. Uh, as a photographer, I've just been doing this a little bit under a year, so... Nice and actually, man, the, the work is pretty, pretty, pretty well, pretty good. Well, so thank you. yeah, I've yeah, seen he, some. Which he you does it too, so it, he's though, gonna yeah. really critique yeah, it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, we're we're gonna be able to see some of her work right here. We have a slideshow coming up oh, in just good, a few. Good, good. Yeah, you can see some of the work in front and behind the camera, so it should be really dope. Um, the one thing I wanted to ask you is is uh, you've been doing model for quite some time and stuff like that. Uh, you done editorial, um, obviously closing apparel. You know, there's uh, I've seen your portfolio as far as like you know swimsuits. Working with different photographers. When you're working with a photographer, what's like the most important thing that you look for as far as like when a photographer hits you up like, hey, I have this concept and idea. What's the most important thing that you look for from the photographer? Well, generally I'll look at his credits and then um, I'll look to see if he shot with people that I know because. I don't know, it's kind of hard to like work with new people because you don't know if they're going to be creepers or whatever. It's like they're just like trying to get me to come over and like get my bronze panties. So, I mean, if they have right. credits and I know that they're legit, then of course I'm going to want to work with them. You know what I mean? So if you see like a hairy old man with a big beard and he's got like a Polaroid, you probably wouldn't take pictures with him, huh? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't think so. <laughs> the homie. <laughs> <laughs> your, your homie over there like, no, I don't think so. <laughs> No, no. I'm, I'm just clown. We yeah, like it, to clown. You know, and another thing too, man, is is you tapped into the uh, the the Playmate oh. industry as well, right? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. I post for Playboy. Have a really good friend of mine. I've been to the mansion a numerous amount of times. I go there on weekends for movie nights. I don't go to the parties as much for anymore. For movie nights, dude. Do you wow. Do hey, just go catch a movie. Just, sure, head to the mansion. Just so you guys know, I'm sure I'm not the only one, but he is one of my idols. Yeah, for reals. <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> yeah, no, I love Pat. He's the one who actually decided um, that I should do Playboy. I never even tested for Playmate. He was just like, Yeah, you want to do Playboy? And I was like, Cool. Yeah, oh, oh, that's, wow. yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I post? How was that, dude, meeting him? How was that? Oh, it was uh, awesome. Well, I had already been going to the parties for a, a few years before I started getting invited to go on weekends and stuff. And, so, I mean, Hep's really welcoming, and all the girls there are really. So how's the grotto? Yeah, so I was just yeah you were going to say that? Right me and, me and Everybody her, wants to know. We're both perverts. <laughs> we nice, are. Not even nice that, bro. I just want to know. Nice and warm. Nice and warm, huh? Oh, yeah. See, that's the all I care about. I don't like it colder. There might be pee in there. You never know. That oh, wow. is true. That would keep it hey, warm. And you know what? Honestly, if I was there, I would pee in that damn thing. <laughs> oh, damn. Because then I'd be like, I was at the Playboy match, and guess where I pissed that motherfuckers? Yeah, but <laughs> instead of playing it off, Wacko would stand on top of the little mountain and piss from the top. <laughs> 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 Man, no. You just screwed you know, it up, like, Wacko. No, you're, you're not going to no movie night now. Yeah, yeah, Damn. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you ain't going to movie night now, Wacko. He Boy. just pees randomly in front of people. I got Netflix. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, hey, but uh, movie night over there must be a whole other thing. Uh, what, what's yeah. up with that? What do they do? Show it on like a big screen? Yeah, or it's all in this like the movie room. And um, like Fridays and Saturday nights is a classic movie night. And then Sundays they show a new movie every Sunday. And I don't know, it's, it's pretty fun. They only, like, invite really, like, nice people. They don't have, like, if you're, like, drama, you don't get invited back, so. So you can't go. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> nah. Hell no, man. I'm good, man. Especially with 814 in the building. Man. I'm telling you, man. Just holding it down. I'll take another. I'll be, I'll be okay. I'm not one of those angry drunks. I, I just get happy. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, you <laughs> too. All, yeah. You too. I'm hey, happy now. Some of this stuff, though, we're going to come back and talk uh, about a couple more things. But this this next uh, video shoot, you yeah. put that together, So right? we're going to check out this little slideshow. It's just going to show a lot of her work as far as, like, some of th- the first part of the slideshow is uh, some of the photos that we took in before, uh, you know, behind the camera. And then, uh, obviously, some pictures of you in front of the camera. Okay. I like the ones in front of the camera for sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, obviously, you even critiqued it, so that means she's good at both. No, in so front of the camera and, and behind back. the camera. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, which is cool. So check out this slideshow right here. Jack's going to go ahead and set that up, and we come back, we'll chop it up a little bit more. But turn, and we got 814 bartending. Oh, thank oh. you for the drinks, man. Those were I know. excellent. Damn, they're even making tips, too. 
Even Jessica likes them. Look at it. She's picky. <laughs> I like the ones. Yo, what's good? It's Bell the Wonder at the B-Side Shop. Tune in every Monday from 9 to 11 p.m. B-SideShow.net. 626 in the house. What up? All right, yeah. I don't know about what your favorite photos are in there, but I had a few of them of my own. Just yeah. saying. Yeah. I'm talking about her work, people. Damn you, perverts out there. Yeah, you guys are perverts. Remember, hands on the keyboards. Yes, hands on the keyboards. Hey, what the hell is this one? I'm drinking again. I'm sorry, dudes. What's this one? <laughs> the white Cosmo, right? The Frankie's Crystal, right? There. Frankie's Crystal. I think that's what it's We need to have you guys no more off here. Oh, she's not like, yeah. Now, hey, we were just chopping up, though, like, um, as that video was going. It, it's been a lot more easier for you to 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 hit up certain people, you know, and be like, hey, I'm doing photos with you down in June, and they just jump on it like, yeah, that's great, that's great. Yeah, you know what? I have to say I've been very, very fortunate that so many people have said yes to shooting with me because the majority of people are my friends. I mean, I've been in the industry for so long that when I'm hitting people up, they're just like, yeah, I'll shoot. So you, you uh, did yeah. make a shirt that says yay, because uh, she's always saying yay. Obvi it's obvious, though, she has a lot of cool friends. Uh, obvious by the photos. Sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really fortunate, you know? Out of your, your shoes that you've done as a model, what's your favorite one that you did? God, I, uh, I don't know. I've done a lot of, I've had a couple of good wins. Um, what would one just be, you know, out of that bunch? Okay, I shot for DCMA a few years back with Joel and Benji Madden. Um, with one of my good photographer friends, Do Not Resist. And um, that was really cool. Yeah, Tyler. Yeah. Do we got to get him when he comes back into Cali again, do, man. Do you have, I wanted to ask, um, do you have, uh, this is in front of the camera now, do you have certain photographers, though, that you're more comfortable with than others? Like, do you want to shout a couple of them out? I mean, you don't have to, but I'm just saying, you know, do some make you feel a little more like you get into it more, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Well, one of them, yeah, one of them, one of them with me one of my friends one of my good friends yeah <laughs> he's always hey <laughs> shout out shout out to the homie man your job's real hard dog Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah him and then like um but you know tyler is you know tyler's not, really dope yeah my, one of my other really good friends gm photography um Yeah. Do you ever like, um, like, how far do you go? I mean, artistically, do you take like pictures? I'm not trying to be a pervert or nothing, but you take like, you know, two girls together, you know, stuff like that. I'm just saying, you know. Okay, okay, artistically. Yeah, I'm talking artistically. Okay, I told this In girl. In my own mind. You know? I told this girl, <laughs> um, I have a really big thing for like wet, white t shirts. So do we. <laughs> Look at Ed. So, so, yeah, as you can see, like the beach shoot I just did, I had the girl wear yeah. a wet, white, button up t shirt, no bra. I was like, let's get you wet and a white t shirt. You know? This other girl, I uh, I told her, I was like, yeah, let's get you in a white feeder. Let's get it wet. Let's get your nipples hard. Wow. Let's add a little bit of blood. <laughs> wow. Nice. I like the blood part. She, yeah, said, uh, she, she <laughs> said yes. But all my all my guy photographer friends were like, I could never get away with saying that. See, I'm yeah, like, because obviously you're female, and they'd be like, Yeah, we're just gonna, you know, throw on a white shirt and just get your nipples all hard. And everything. She's like, Hey, get your nipples hard. Uh, it's going do you down. Need help? Yeah. Do you need help? Like, I'll have her a little bit of ice. <laughs> yeah, like, hey, here I got ice. Don't worry about it. Hey, why, <laughs> For why? some apparent reason, the turntables are rising over there. Hey, why? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Whitey said via Waynesboro, Zane. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing, yeah, but leading back to uh, my little, you know, thing, I, I specialize in sexy, so I want whatever's going to look hot. Hot but yeah. not trashy. You and know? you can get away with it and you can take it to that limit, too. Yeah. And then the, the model's going to go for it, so that's oh, yeah. dope. You're like, you know, that you are lucky now that I think about it. You know how hard it is for me to do that? And I'm yeah. trying to say it without being sound like a pervert I'll tell you what, if I was anything, you know? with you and you told me to get my nipples hard, I'd fucking slap your face. It's, you know uh, what I mean? And it's not just that Wacko looks like a pervert. It's just that the fact that they don't trust the guy. They don't know him. You know? <laughs> no, <I'm all> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> first off, my name is kind of like a yeah, little bit hard to get through The name gives first. it right, right off the bat. They're going, Wacko. So you're going to shoot with a guy named Wacko. Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> sure. <laughs> 
<laughs> but hey, uh, but um, thank you for coming through. Really do appreciate coming through. Wait, wait, you know, wait. Oh, thank stuff. you so much for having me. Wait, 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 uh, wait. Yeah, no, real quick though, so give them the contact so, yeah, so they can get. Say, it. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, my yeah. bad. <laughs> I was laughing, dude. This guy. Okay, so you can check out my website www.crystalina. That's K R Y S T L E L I N A dot com. Oh, yeah. And you can email me, crystal at crystalina.com. Hey, hey one more thing. Do you only shoot certain types of, like, like what it, so quote-unquote model types, or do you shoot, like, everybody? You I know what I mean? I shoot everybody. I mean, I shoot from Playboy models to actors to the tattooed models. I shoot everything. There's nothing I won't shoot. How about uh, bodybuilders like me? I mean, oh, you, yeah. you can this tell. Guy. You can tell, yeah, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. and Andy. Andy, Andy's Andy like, said he's a part. He's a bodybuilder too on He's the a, side. He's like, what about us over here? <laughs> you know what I think you should do? You should shoot these two guys with the white shirt embroidered of 814 and then get their nipples out. And hard. then put ice on their nipples. <laughs> put their ice on their nipples. <laughs> They'll get it nice and wet. Maybe <laughs> there you go. Look, look, they're already ready they're with already the ready ice. To go. <laughs> they're taking their shirts hey, off. Hey, Josh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Put your pants back on. Yeah, what's going on behind that bar hey, there? Hey, Andy and Josh already pictured themselves slow motion running on the beach. Oh, they're, they're already God. like that. All right, man. So we're going to go to video here. Once again, everybody, make some noise for our girl right here, Crystalina, man. For Crystalina. Coming through. You know, we're going <laughs> to... Thank hey, you we're again for around, coming. Though. So we're gonna, cause we're gonna go ahead and chop it up with these guys, and then gonna talk about some drinks and stuff. So you're gonna, you're gonna chill with us right here, right? You cool? Yeah, you, you yeah. can ask a couple questions too. Maybe That'll they, be real cool. Maybe you guys can show them how to, how to make a drink or something like that. That'll be really yeah, awesome. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll Ooh. do that. But right now, you know, right now we're gonna show, uh, you know, like we do. We forgot last week. We apologize, but Sorry. CIA's clip of the week. Uh, edited by the homie Shea Whitey uh -huh. and uh, it's it's real funny and then we're gonna go into a video right after that let's show that yeah. uh, wh what are we gonna show after that Dr uh, Deadly Hash Deadly Hash is right after right the there. CIA clip of the week don't oh, go nowhere wait a minute anybody. shout out to Deadly Hash he's in the chat room what and, up, and Rob Lowe hey don't go anywhere anyone because I think these guys wanna fucking do fire and all that great stuff oh they're gonna light some shit on fire I'm here then he's not looking like maybe yeah I'm maybe here for that know. All right, man. Check out Deadly Hash's video right after CIA's clip of the week on the B side. Yeah, baby. What's up, y'all? It's Medusa. Yes, LA's underground most wanted. Where am I? You know, I grew up with vinyl. There's the A side, and then there's the B side. I spun the B side, and I'm at the B side show. Whew, isn't that ironic? I want you to come on in, feel yourself. Sit on down, check us out, and make sure you always spin the B side. So I can bust like a bubble. I'm a chubby and long beast together, man. You know you in trouble. Yeah. Ain't nothing but a B side, baby. Why go and still is getting crazy. Death Row is the label that pays, man. What up, I? We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. That fool said the B side. That was you a good remix, right there. You like there, that Waggle. shit, huh? You like that shit, that man. That must be the alcoholic beverages talking, dog. That's I think what it so. Is. Maybe a little bit of this. He got pretty clever all of a sudden. Speaking of alcohol, <laughs> <laughs> we got our voice right. Hey, that was a shit talk right there, huh? Yeah, wow, was... high five. It's about time. Hey, so check this like out. like that, Fizz Ed? Yeah, Fizz Ed, <laughs> like that one. See? All right, so we got a boys right here at 814 Bar 10. Introduce your guys yourself, please. What's going on, everybody? Uh, my name is Andrew Trujillo. This is my boy, Josh. What's going on? He's all, what's going on? <laughs> uh, real quick, first off, let's start with 814 Bartending. Why 814? Uh, 814 is the address of the home that I grew up in that was owned by my grandparents. Um, once they passed away and I moved out to the city of Ranch Cucamonga, I wanted to do whatever I could to keep the name alive, and um, that has been the, the foundation of my whole life, so I, I wanted to continue it with business and in my in my adult career. And uh, me and Josh actually went to the, uh, went to high school together. We linked up in Ranch Cucamonga at a, at a bar out there. Uh, we got together, we kind of passed the concept uh, back and forth to each other. We got some capital behind us and uh, invested into what you see here is our lovely bar that lights up. We take yeah. this to all the events that we do. Um, you know, it's just pretty much us doing our thing. We're really good at what we do. We wanted to, you know, let everyone else have that. Not everyone comes to the bar, but we wanted to be able to go to you whenever you wanted our services. A lot of people come in and uh, they, they, they see what we do. They like our service, but they want more of a one-on-one. -on -one. So our business is to take our business to their house and give them that one-on-one. -on -one. Mobile bartending, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. What kind, what kind of events do you guys do and stuff like that? Uh, right now, we've been doing a lot of weddings, a lot of uh, a lot of like parties at, at houses. Um, 
uh, baby showers coming up next Saturday. We also baby shower, baby shower. People Fuck. like to party at baby showers. Apparently. <laughs> Probably get really faded you know? at baby yeah. showers. Uh. Oh wow, that's <laughs> so, dope. You know that baby's in the time for life. But we're gonna, we're gonna do that, and then we also just double book today and another for the same day. So um, just this last month, we've been getting hit up to do double bookings, which is good, which means we can make some more money, get another bar in. Yeah, and keep expanding, and keep going, and keep yeah. going, and stuff like that. Cool, and you know, the the reason we know them, in case any of you guys don't know out there, uh, the in-store events we do right here at 86 Clothing, they're like our exclusive bartenders and stuff. So, you know, that's why we got them on here, man. They're doing it real big. Uh, Shout yeah. out to everybody here. Rocky, 86 Clothing, Zoo Radio, the B-Side, showing us much love, bringing us back every time, uh, you know, letting us uh, explore our talents and showing them, their friends and our friends what it is that we do. And uh, it's much appreciated man we yeah. really appreciate it hey you guys are good at it though the only reason i know that is because like i'm a beer drinker dog i just drink beer dog you know mostly and you guys got me drinking these mixed drinks so i mean you gotta do <laughs> something right, yeah. you know what i'm saying hey uh let me ask the homie josh real quick um oh yeah and then i know crystalina's got a couple questions man so for for the bartenders um i just want to ask how did you end up linking with the homie Andy, like, and deciding you wanted to make, like, it was that strong where you make a business together, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, basically, like Andy said, we, um, you know, after about 10 years, we met up again. Uh, we both got hired at the same bar, uh, walked in the first day, it was a new store opening, and we're like, hey, I, I know you, like, hey, we went to high school together, how you been? Go, we got plenty of people drunk together. That's right, that's right. <laughs> so, um, I don't know, man, a couple, you know... After a couple of drinks one night, we're just kind of sitting there and threw some ideas together, and we're like, yeah, "Let's make this happen." You know, we've got, we've got, we've got the experience, we've got the passion, we've got the drive. Uh, let's just let's go for it. And uh, you know, we we did it. How, how long has it been though since you guys have been uh, had the, having this company together? Um, I, I think we. It's been about a year since we actually decided on the idea, but uh, we we bought the bar and 814 went live uh, roughly December of last year, 2010. That's about uh, a little after we made the B-side show, right? Just about, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 November, nice. November nice. 2008. Cool. Yeah. We, we, can, uh, we can throw like an anniversary party together. That's you know? <laughs> You already said yeah, it. Yeah, it. <laughs> there it is. Yes. Where's the bell, Jack? <laughs> <That's right. laughs> we need the, the bell. Why back is he gonna there? go there and shake the bell? <laughs> <laughs> that was a that that would sound like a drunk shaking a fucking bell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all. <laughs> <laughs> you got Drack off beat with the bell. <laughs> hey, <laughs> um. What, what was the um, you guys say you do like different events and stuff like that but what was the maybe the most weirdest event that you guys did I mean a baby shower sounds kind of weird but I mean like um, I, I don't know about the weirdest but probably the most difficult uh, event we did was a Halloween party where everybody was in uh, masks and you know um, people walking up and trying to order we're trying to remember which drink they had and you know like oh it's uh, you know it's the superheroes over there what were they drinking you know and, uh, Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man Captain America oh. Captain America you got your you know, fucking beer like I said it's part, part of our services you know we, we want to be able to when someone walks up we got your drink ready for you and and, and you know we're ant- anticipating your needs before you even get there but you know, it's kind of difficult when everybody's got a mask on they're all looking the same and uh, <laughs> And yeah, there was about 400 people at a house party, but uh, oh, that's, a, that's a good party. Yeah, that's a nice. dope party. Sounds you, like you, one of the parties I used to do. I know Kristalina's got a couple questions, but I want to ask you something, Josh, while you have the nice. mic. Nice. He works at a local spot. He could say the name if he wants, man. It's right. It's right here down uh, the street. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you the initials. Uh, B Dub Dub. Okay, B Dubs. If you don't know that, I mean, come on. Then I don't know what to tell you, but check this out. He works at the spot and. Uh, <laughs> Um, I know you have a little story about yesterday, but maybe you could. T- that, is that the weirdest thing that's ever happened in a bar? That's like you know. Definitely. Um, tell them what. Well, I, was, well, was very unexpected. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, I, and I, it uh, wasn't even me though. This is the thing that's funny. Yeah, Go ahead, tell uh, them. I, I, I worked last night, and you know, a couple couple of the guys here at uh, you know 86 and stuff that walked into the bar. Um, you know, I was serving them last night. They're having a good time. Uh, you know, last call, it's time to go, and, uh, you know, one of the homies lights up what I thought was a cigarette, and I walk over to tell him, hey, man, you can't smoke, that's not a cigarette, all right. <laughs> I just, I'm walking this way. I'm not, I'm not even going to deal with that right now. And all of a sudden, he had the munchies and ordered some that's Buffalo right. Wild Wings. That's right, that's, that's right. <laughs> not that it worked there or anything, but, you know, that just yeah. sounded really good at the time. <laughs> he ordered it to go. Hey, but that's right. <laughs> Hey, hey, Andy, do you have any uh, cra- crazy things that happened to you besides, you know, people blazing doobies in the thing? Man, there's there's so many things that happen at bars people don't really understand because they're too hammered to even, you know, uh, 
just uh, comprehend what's, what goes on. And uh, I've always told everyone, every bartender that I've worked with, dude, we need to make a book. We need to write a book, <laughs> make a documentary or something because there's so many things that are said, that are done, that we see that that the normal people cannot even comprehend or even imagine, begin Sounds to imagine. Sounds like a reality TV show to me. Dude, it is. And and if that ever happened, dude, it it, it would, it would, it would, oh, dude, it It'd be good. It'd be really good, man. I you get know, so excited just thinking you know about what? it. You we, know what? We should have somebody that goes along and takes, like, clips of some of the, that shit so we could show it on our show, dog. But it has Definitely. to be, like, undercover, you know what I mean? That, like that would be – That I mean, it's – the the bar from the bartender's eye view is totally different than what you see when you sit at our bar top. We, we see it. We hear it. We smell it. Everything – we make everything happen. Yes, we smell it. Uh, <laughs> we make everything happen. We are like DJ Fizzed. We control that bar scene. We control that party. We let them know how how, uh, how far they can go. We let them know how pumped up they need to be. And, uh, you know, just just like DJs, we we, uh, we control the room. And, and that's our job. And that's it. That is what it is. I got a, I got another question, though. But I'm going to let Crystalina ask you something real okay, quick. Okay, my question is, can you make us a shot? Uh, yes, oh, we're gonna let, uh, we're gonna let Josh take that away over here. Since they invited me hey. on the show, we have to. How about, uh, how hey, about, how about we let her make a shot? We, we can do okay. that. Let's let her have, get come behind back. the so bar. She, go, go she's gonna go over way. there. And just to let you guys know, myself and Wacko will be broadcasting the rest of the show passed out on the floor after that. All right, here we go. Thank you very much. That's Here's my you want to get a little ice okay, in there? Go ahead. What are we making yeah. here? What are we uh, making? We're gonna do, we're, we're why gonna don't do you go a, ahead and, uh, yeah. We're going to do the, the Becky special. We're going to get a little scoop of ice there. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, little we're feedback. Gonna do a little bit more in there. Okay, okay cool. she's got ice. It's, you can yeah, hold the know, mic up for her. Hey, 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 real quick, real quick. Just because there's ice doesn't mean you can put on anybody's nipple. Yeah, yeah. sorry. I'm, I'm trying to be <laughs> hey, good look, here. Andy's, I'm trying to Andy's be good. Andy's all, I volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> just hold it up. We're going to take a little bit of Parabé. Hey, you know what? We're going to pour that a little bit in there. And play interviewer, keep Andy. Keep going. Hold up the mic there for her. There you go. Yeah. That's there you it. go. Okay. Oh, hey, take uh, it, take this, it easy, crazy. Is this your first time? Is this your first time kind of mixing something? I coyote ugly right now. I want to dance on the there you go. Get the bar. And we are not stopping you. So yeah. <laughs> here we go. We're gonna get a little bit of strawberry uh, schnapps in there as well. Strawberry yeah. schnapps. What was the first up. thing we put? Uh, that was uh, you're good with that. Pear Bay uh, rug, coconut rum. Okay. 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 Coconut rum. We're gonna do uh, some sprite here. Add some sprite. sprite. You guys pay That'd attention if you want to get. Yeah. All you guys the out crib. there, man, pay attention to stuff like that. Now this is the difficult part. It's easy to pour, but it's uh, it, you gotta be able to uh, let's see to shake it. Shake it up, yeah. We're gonna, Ooh, we're gonna put that it. there. Hold that really it. tight. Fizz is gonna play that. Really tight Come on, shake it up shake, any shake way you it. want. There you go. <laughs> harder. You gotta do harder. There you go. Oh it'll wait, get, it'll get wet. It's okay. Wait, you're it's spilling. All, so it's all right for it to be splatting everywhere. Yeah, there we go. It's okay if she splashes oh. a little. <laughs> there you go. Oh yeah. Now she's now gonna go in like that one. There you go. There wow. You go, there you go. I think you've Ooh. done this before. He's, he's definitely uh, not a rookie. Look at this. Okay, the one that has a lot in it, that's for Wacko. Oh, that's for Wacko. Oh, there we go. Over that's for Wacko. That's for Wacko. Hey, Fizzed wants one too, man. Come yes, on. We got, right, we got four we go. right there. We got four. We got four. Let's get Fizzy she's, over she's here. She's definitely got to have one of her, her, her own Well, uh, this is a This is a great way to go ahead and... uh. End this great fucking hey, interview right here, man. Wacko Wacko's, Wacko wants to drink straight out of the metal container. Yeah. I'll do that shit, you don't man. Give here a we shit, go. Huh? Oh. Well, hey. Cheers to uh, everyone out here. Hey. Appreciate the love. Cheers to 814 Bar. 814 Bar. Thank you for coming through right here at 86, man. Oh, that was good stuff. We're not done yet, though, man. That was good stuff. Hey man, thank you guys for coming through. Where, how can they get a uh, get a hold of you guys as far as uh, information, website, or anything like that? You can like go that? to uh, Facebook, um, search under Eight One Four Bartending. You can also go under Andrew Trujillo. Um, it's also linked to Eight One Four Bartending. Joshua Farrow, Eight One Four Bartending. Just uh, just look for <laughs> us. You you can Google it. Um, that there's some information about uh, my cousin who designed the my web cards. His his name would also uh, would pop up. Alex uh, Trujillo out of uh, uh, West Sacramento. He did the digital work for us, and um, shout out to my family, all the Trujillo family, O'Farrell family, holding it down from LP to IE. Oh, yeah. Making it happen. And Tom. What's up, Tom? This is to you, Tom. <laughs> all right, man. Well, everyone, make some noise for our boys right for 814 Bartending, man. I'm going to make some noise because like I'm having a buzz now. That's right. That's still a drunk bell, Drac. Did you guys? <laughs> 
All right, we're going to let our boy right here, Fizz Ed, go ahead and take it away, mix the rest of the show yeah, out, and uh, we're going to continue having a couple of you here and there yeah, and stuff like that. Thanks to everybody who came through the chat oh, room. Hey, shout out to Jessica who came say through. Hi. Represent hey. with us. Hey, hey. <laughs> she's, a, she's a woman of many words. Any women out there? There. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> any final shout outs real quick? Oh, I promised my web designer I would give her a shout out because she's my, like one of my good friends. It's J-Car, C-A-R-R uh, dot com. So. There you go. Hey, I hope she's in the chat room too. Uh. What up, CI? Yeah. Hey, shout out to CIA. We showed your clip of the week, and we'll be doing that every week. You know shout it, out man. to Deadly Hash, uh, Rob Lowe. Who else? Mr. Timmy, though. Hey, Mr. Timmy, though, thanks for tuning in every week, homie, for reals. Marty. Shortcake. Shortcake. Yeah. Shortcake. And everybody else in here. Hey, yo, oh, Rob Lowe. One last shout out. Big up to my pops, man. Take care of yourself, pops. You know what I'm saying? Fizz Ed. Do your thing, baby. Fizz it on the B-side. B-side. It's time for rocking the shuffle. Shuffle time. Shuffle time. Cheers, cheers, cheers. What's up, Tom? Yeah.
Search my shit. Oh, we'll see how smart you are when the K9 come. I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. Hit me, hit me, hit me. My flow is in your pocket like Wallace. They got the bounce, they got drawlers, they can't call it. I got the swirl like alcohol. My freshman year, I was going. 